right, let's get a check of our Monday forecast with meteorologist Fire Miranda. Know you delivered on Sunday. What you got for today? Well, you know, when you have the Cardinal with you, I mean, he's, he's talking what, to the man upstairs. Yes, <laughs> a direct blessing. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, yeah, beautiful day was yesterday, and today may be even nice. In fact, today will be even nicer. Uh, one of our viewers, uh, hopefully one of our viewers, uh, Melanie G. Melanie G. said, Byron, don't, don't say my last name. I don't want to be too famous. So Melanie G., uh, I'm sure she's looking forward to this. Possibly a 70. Possibly a 70 today. So Melanie and everybody else, hold on. I think you're going to like this forecast. Live radar, I'll tell you now, you do not need the umbrella. The reason is you've got two areas of high pressure, one to the north, one to the south. And as long as that high is over us, that will keep us dry with lots of sunshine. A perfect day for outdoor activities for the kids as well as yourself. Looking at the rain, snow, future cats, it says dry. Now watch what happens here. Story number two, it's all about the jet stream. It just depends on where the jet is, how we are heated up. If we get a zonal flow, all of the winds, we call them the westerly, start from the west coast, go to the east coast. All right, we call this flat. That means that we're heated up by the length of day and the angle of the sun. At this time of year, the length of day is getting long, the angle of the sun is getting stronger, so we're getting a better sun. If it troughs, when I say, oh, the jet stream's troughing, that means it's opening the door to Canada and the chatter guy. That brings us below average temperatures because Arctic air still resides over Canada. The opposite of that is when the jet stream goes north. We call it ridging. And if I say it's going to ridge, that means like today, we're going to see more warmth coming up from the Gulf of Mexico where that warm air resides at this time of year. That's all it is. It's all about the jet stream, right? Heating us up or cooling us off. Your temperatures at this hour, 35 in Poughkeepsie, we're at 45 in Westchester, four degrees above that right now in the boroughs. If you're in close in Jersey, south and central Jersey, somewhere between 44 to 48, mid 40s on Long Island. Your highs today, the models indicate probably 65, 66, 67 degrees. I disagree with the models. I believe with these winds out of the northwest between 15 and 25, it will be windy, by the way. There's even a red flag warning, I think, in place. I believe that we could get up to 70 for the boroughs and 71 close in Jersey, mid-60s on Long Island, and Ardsley, Westchester, 66. Now, what happens here with the jet stream by Wednesday, we're still ridging, right? So that means the little guy, the sun guy, and the warmth should be heading this way. So we'll stick with these temperatures if that occurs. There's a stationary front out there. That could be a problem, but keep that in you know, the back of your head. Let me just say, if everything goes according to plan, another beautiful day on tap Tuesday and Wednesday. By Thursday, the jet is diving a little bit south, and it's going to go zonal almost. So we should be heated up by the length of day and the angle of the sun. And the averages at this time of year are a bit cooler, right? So we'll start off in the morning at 48 and be a little bit cooler uh, Thursday afternoon than today. 70 today, 68 tomorrow, mid-60s on Wednesday. The only problem here in this seven-day is that stationary front. Uh, it depends on where it is, and right now we're trying to keep it south. As long as it stays south, these numbers will hold. If it goes north, all bets are off, and we'll have chillier temperatures like we're talking about over the weekend.